Hi guys, today is Thursday. I've been home for work for the last three days, basically just because my doctor told me to. I have to go grocery shopping, I really don't feel like it, but I have to because we basically have nothing at home. And I want to make this recipe that I saw on TikTok, which is just like spinach risotto. Yeah, I want to make that. And then I need to buy some snacks as well. My boyfriend is going out with his friends tonight. So basically, it's just me. I want to buy some snacks and I want to have a really chill evening. I want to just relax and... Oh, I could feel a sneeze going on. I really just want to take the evening to just kind of relax and maybe watch a good movie. I went to the grocery store and I picked up a package as well, which are my new keys because I am a dummy and I lost my old keys. What I got snack-wise, grapes, gifla, a bag of candy, Oreos. I don't know if it's just me, but I can never find the regular Oreos anymore. Frozen strawberries, bananas to make myself a smoothie. Obviously, I'm not gonna eat all of this in one sitting, but when I can't figure out what I'm craving, I just have to buy it all. Good morning guys, it's Monday today. I have a little bit of an update for you guys because a lot has changed since the last time I came on here and gave you an update. Basically, I have gotten something, I don't know what it's called in English. Wait, one second, I'll look it up. I'm not sure it's the right word, but pelvic instability is what I have. And it's really annoying because it really hurts a lot. So I'm not gonna go to work for the next like two months. Then I have maternity leave after that, so Basically, I'm just done with work now, but I should have gone into the office today just to basically finish my projects and just kind of be sorting through whatever I should give to other co-workers. I have been feeling the pain a lot, so I'm considering just doing it from home. But I don't know, I feel like I should go into the office, but also I feel like I shouldn't when it hurts. Like, I don't want to pressure myself so it gets worse. Also, I've been getting these, like, Braxton Hicks contractions they shouldn't be painful but they really are like really painful my doctor said that it could be a sign of stress which i already knew that i had so basically i'm gonna be on leave from work for the next two months and then i go on maternity leave so yeah that's a really long time and it's so weird not going into work but i can really feel it helping me a lot I just kind of want to take my time and take it easy and just want to ease back into my everyday life. I was supposed to go into work today. Actually, I was supposed to go into the office Friday last week. I just called my boss and I was like, okay, I'm really sorry, but I can't come in today because it really just hurt so much. Maybe we can postpone it until Monday. And he was like, yeah, yeah, of course we can postpone it. Or if not, we'll just do it over the phone. So I think I might just call him up and quickly get it over with. But it's really stupid because I ordered some books for my next exam. And I really want to get to those. And they are in the office so i should really just go into the office and pick them up but i don't know lobster vibes <laughs> my mom might come and visit us in about like two weeks i think oh is it next week wait it's next week is it really next week but she might come and visit us and she might bring her car. We might be able to borrow that and then I can just drive into the office and pick them up. Because if you didn't know, basically my office, basically the office is 
13 kilometers away from where I live and I have to bike in there and that's just a really long trip especially when you're pregnant so um, yeah I feel like I'm not gonna do that life has just been really good I feel like being on leave from work really has helped a lot I do still feel the contractions every now and then but they were like my main concern like the pain I can deal with from like my pelvic area like that's okay I can deal with that because that just affects me and not the baby but the contractions honestly you guys before I got leave from work I honestly thought that I might go into labor at like week 25 26 I was really worried about that but looks like we're in the clear i feel like it's getting better i do not plan on going into labor anytime soon oh i bought a diaper bag anytime i buy something for the baby i just get so excited i know it's just a diaper bag and it's so silly but i get really excited and i already started packing for our hospital trip i still need a lot of stuff but i'll show you guys what i packed so far i've made lists of like everything i need like every single aspect <laughs> we still have quite a long way to go because there's still a lot of things that we need to buy like we don't even have a bed for him yet i want a bit creepy i want a bed that he can have besides our bed because I do want to co-sleep, but I don't want to co-sleep with him in bed. I just feel like that is so risky. And I have read a lot about sits and I don't want to, I don't want to challenge that. Okay, so we're not going to do that. We're going to buy a bed for him. And we already have a crib, like we have gotten a crib from some family members. But obviously he's too small to sleep on his own in a crib. So so we need to get a bedside crib for like the first six months. What else? Breast pump. That is so expensive, you guys. That stuff is so freaking expensive. I'm gonna wait it out and wait till he gets born. And I'm gonna see if I can just like avoid buying that because that just seems so pricey. Of course, we still need some clothes and we still need a lot, but we'll get there. We still have like three months to go. I am 27 weeks now. I feel like we're not stressing that much yet, but I'll show you the diaper bag. Okay, I'm gonna make myself an iced coffee because I am so tired, but honestly, I'm making it caffeine free, so it doesn't really make much of a difference, but I'm just craving that right now. And the way I make this is so disgusting, like, I don't put hot water in it, I put cold water in it because it dissolves the coffee as well so I don't see why I should put like hot coffee and then ice cubes and then they melt and then the cold milk and stuff like that so I just put like cold water in it. I'll show you guys. I put this caffeine free coffee in it like this, sugar in it as well, basically the same amount like this and then I put Water in it. And I wait for it to dissolve and then I put the ice cubes in and then milk. I really like oat milk because I don't drink regular milk. Also, I know I haven't posted in a while. I hope that's gonna change because I feel like I have so much more time to just focus on YouTube now and I have so much more time to just focus on myself. So yeah, I'm really trying to get better at it. The last video I made was a Cooking with Bella episode and that just took me forever to edit. Basically, it took me like three days because I was like on and off again editing. And then we have the ice cubes. And then we have the Oat Barista. Oh, this is actually a cream out. It's really good. I always buy this. Like this. And a straw. I'm just gonna swirl it around. Mix it all together. Moment of truth. That's so good. 
Yeah, that's really good. And I also need some breakfast, but I don't really feel like cooking anything. I stayed up really late last night because I was really craving something sweet, which I just am all the time. I don't know why, but I made, I made muffins. I feel like I might have one. Just a quick disclaimer, it's not 8 a.m. in the morning, it's like 12.30 or something. I can have a muffin. Don't judge me. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the diaper bag. It's this one. It's really big. Um, I still haven't taken the price tag off, but if you're wondering, it's from a Danish brand called Kongsløjt. It's just a really good bag. Size is really good. I feel like you fit a lot of stuff in here and it just fits so nice on our stroller. At the front, I have put this like package of wet wipes and you can basically just do like this and then just grab a wipe. Genius. Then you have another little pocket inside. Okay, I've already put stuff in here, so don't mind it, but as you can see, there is a lot of space in here. Like, it's pretty spacious. It just has this, like, changing mat that comes with it. So you can just change the baby wherever you go. What do you call this? This is like a search for your bra, so you don't leak. <laughs> nursing pads i think they might be called and then i have this little tiny box which is from bibs i love bibs and i have bought all bibs pacifiers and all bibs bottles so yeah this is just a little box for his pacifier it's just so aesthetically pleasing so unnecessary but i love this one so i put this in here and then i also have a small little bottle this is also from bibs i think they might have bottles at the hospital like of course they do but i really want him to get used to drinking out of these ones because they're like anti-colic and they are supposed to be really good for the baby's stomach i'm bringing this with me to the hospital then i'm bringing some small socks these are the only pair that we have in the right size we need to buy some more because i want to bring like two or three pairs yeah we need to buy some more socks and then we have this small little hat obviously this is way too small we already know that the baby is gonna be really big so obviously this is gonna be way too small but i actually crocheted a new one which is a lot bigger and i feel like this is gonna fit him much better like you can see the comparison here like this is way too small it looks like it's for a doll or something i feel like this one is gonna fit so i feel like i might just crochet another one of these and bring to the hospital and i'm also working on crocheting matching socks in this same color then i'm bringing this this was just something we got for free like a baby package baby care package so yeah i'm just bringing this then we have an even smaller pacifier i feel like this might be the newborn size i am pretty sure they don't need pacifiers for like the first two weeks it's kind of unnecessary but i just want him to have it diapers i feel like i might need more diapers i only have like four in each size this is like the size newborn and this is like one week just in case he is too big or is very small obviously the hospital does have diapers but it's said to bring them just in case but yeah it's not much we need a lot more i didn't even show you the clothes we have this cute little buddy this is from wheat and then i just bought some small buddy stockings from h&m I have these in different sizes. I have like three of them in a size newborn and then I have one in like size two weeks. Now I have three of those as well. Three in each size and then this is size newborn as well. We also need to get pants for him. And then, yeah, like I said, some more socks. Is there anything else? Like obviously I need to bring more stuff for myself and for 
my boyfriend as well but for the baby i feel like we are almost all set i am kind of confused about the whole car seat situation because we don't have a car i was considering buying a car seat because we might get a car in the future but kind of feels like a waste of money but can i get him home from the hospital without a car seat like if we take a cab would we be able to bring him in the cab or would we have to take the bus home i don't know but basically yeah that's what we got it's just really exciting i can't believe that we're almost there there are less than a hundred days left that's so crazy i'm really excited i'm so excited to meet him yeah mm -hmm.